I think a lot about this relationship between beauty, aesthetic works, and catharsis. And at what price? Now, the philosopher Alain de Botton had an amazing passage in his book, The Architecture of Happiness, in which he described an individual being so moved by a work of art that he was shaken to tears. He was literally bawling because he was so affected by the outrageous beauty emanating from the work that he was looking at. And, you know, the imaginary foundation defined beauty as this kind of rousing, symphonic climax. You know, it's explosive. It's this extraordinary moment of poetry and grace. But again, at what price? And I recently came across uh, an actual affliction called the Stendhal Syndrome. This is an actual psychosomatic condition, an actual medical condition in which an individual can be so moved by an aesthetic work, a work of art can affect him so deeply that he can literally lose consciousness. The individual can literally pass out from the aesthetic impact of the work of art. How far are we willing to go to make beautiful art? Can beautiful art destroy us? You know, the artist has to ask himself this question all the time, like, at what price? You know, can you have too much ecstasy? How far are we willing to go to have that catharsis, you know, even if it kills us? Can we be destroyed by art, by our own art? I guess that's the question.